Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the basics of using hyperlinks or creating hyperlinks inside Microsoft Word documents. Now in this case I've got a document on watercolour painting and what I want to do is where I'm talking about for example watercolour paint brands I want to be able to link to that brand website so that somebody who came along would be able to click on the link and go and get some more information. Now obviously this is not going to work on paper documents and it's sort of super not going to work because all we're going to get is an underlined link and we're not even going to have the information so just be aware this is not the way that you would handle it for paper documents. But for a DOCX file that's downloaded from the web or for example a PDF file, these are going to work really well. So the first thing I suggest that you do is you go to the website that you want to include in your document. This is the quickest way to make sure that you get it right and that you get the link correct because there's nothing worse than sending somebody the wrong link. So I'm here in Google and I'm going to type Windsor & Newton. Here it is here. Now the thing I'm going to be aware of not clicking on at this point probably is something like a sponsored post because that's going to have all sorts of tracking information in it. So what I really want to do is to scroll down so that I can actually find the website of the company itself, Windsor & Newton. That's probably going to give me a better URL and you can see here the URL is very short. So what I want to do is to just grab that once I've made sure that this is actually the page I want to be on. So I'm selecting it, I'm right clicking and I'm choosing copy because I want this on the Windows clipboard. I don't need my browser anymore. Back in the document I'm going to highlight the text that I want to be underlined. So this is going to be my hyperlink text. I'm going to right click and choose from here the word link and that will open up the hyperlink dialog. So we're just going to confirm that everything is correct. So the text to display is Windsor & Newton. So in actual fact, this is the text that's going to be the text of the hyperlink. We're making sure that we're going to link to an existing file or a web page because there are other options that you could use. But the only one that makes sense here is to actually go to the web page that we're talking about. Now this is a bit confusing this area here because what we're seeing is documents on our computer and that's because this is an existing file or a web page. Well we want the web page so we're just going to come down here to address, ignore all of this and just paste in the address that we just copied. So I'll right click and choose paste. We're just going to read that off and make sure it looks correct. Because we copied it from the web, the chances are sort of about 99.99% that we've got this correct, which is a really good reason for copying and pasting from the website rather than typing it in by hand because it is really easy to make a mistake. And in this one particularly, because I'm used to Windsor being W-I-N-D-S-O-R, but in actual fact the company name is Windsor without the D. So it would be an open invitation to make a mistake here for me. So all I need to do at this point is to click OK and the text has changed colour very very slightly and it's now underlined. So this is actually a hyperlink now. When I hover over it I'm given the website name and I'm invited to control click to follow the link. So I'm going to hold down the control key, click on it once and then we will be taken to that website. And here it is in another browser window. It's just loading up now. So I've tested my link. I know it's correct and that it's working. Now, of course, if we knew the website, we could enter it by hand. So if I right click on Daniel Smith and go to link, then the situation is going to be exactly the same. Existing file or web page. Well, we're going to web page. Here's the text to display. And down here in the address area, we're going to hand type the address for that website. In this case, it's danielsmith.com. So I'll type it in and click OK. Of course, what I want to do before I go any further is to double check that I've got this correct, particularly where I've typed it in by hand. So I'll just control click on it. And I'm just making sure that I'm delivered to the correct website, which I am. 
Now I previously added a link to this document and I saved it as a PDF file. So I just want to show you what it's going to look like in a typical PDF reader. So here I have it open in Foxit and here is the link that I had. You can see that this is a link to the Archer's paper site. It's hovering like any regular link and I can just click on it to go to that website and here it is opening in another browser window. So this is a really good way of adding some benefits to your documents, particularly things that are going to be PDFs or downloadable documents, where you can fast track getting your user or your reader to the site that might give them additional information on a particular topic. You will of course want to save your document either as a Microsoft Word DOCX file or a PDF file so that you are retaining these hyperlinks in the document. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.